<laughs> oh, I am so insane. Roll those fucking titles. Hello, YouTube, my friends. So, welcome to the next whack crazy episode of the Stabby the Mentally Disturbed Cloud Show. With me, Stabby the Mentally Disturbed Clown. So, anyway, what are we going to be talking about today? Well, as it said on the intro, we're going to be talking about sanity what makes us sane and what makes us insane well a lot of crazy things can happen to a person when they've lost all sanity like me i got this knife out of snout's kitchen he obviously hasn't cleaned it yet from slaughtering the animals he does it himself he does it quick and mercifully he's a good pig Apparently he ate his mother. Wait, no, he didn't eat his mother, but he ate his brother for stealing his GCSEs and eating and uh, having an affair with his wife, which he wasn't happy about. You don't want to screw them, you know. He's fucking mental. Anyway, on with the episode. So I'll tell you about how I lost my uh, sanity. I was, uh, well, it was a long, like I say. You know, I was a kid's clown. I loved to joke around and giggle. But, uh, you know, over time, I just lost my... Why is this music on so loud? Huh? I can't even hear myself think. Turn the fucking volume down. Turn it down. Thank you. <clears throat> anyway... You know, I got so depressed and so out of work because the kids were scared of clowns too much these days. I literally took a hammer and bludgeoned my family with it. I didn't kill them. Like I said before, they're all in comas except for my brother who's woke up and is recuperating well and is on the mend. In fact, he's um, coming out of the hospital next week. Ugh, he's such an awesome guy, my bro. I said I was sorry, and he understands that I have big, big issues with things, you know. Uh, he doesn't blame me. What the fuck? Why is this music still playing? Thank you. Fucking production team. Anyway, you know, I have just... You know, lost control of myself. Lost all sanity. Anyway, I'm on the mend now, and I work at this... at Stampy McFuckies. As the clown mascot. I like the Ronald McDonald slash Captain Spaulding. Like I say, 
Come on down to Stanley McFuckies if you're 18 or above. But don't you bring kitties, because that's not allowed. I'm watching you. Hmm. <laughs> Anyhow, yes, I am... Can I always lose control of my mind, you know? Anyway, it's time for that part of the show now. So, will you please give it up for the one, the only, James Brontosaurus. Wow! I feel good. I knew that I wouldn't. I feel good. I knew that I wouldn't. Hello there, I'm James Brontosaurus, and don't worry about the cock ups because you all know that I'm just a fucking puppet and you're all adults anyhow. So, it's that part of the show where it's my turn to take over. So, let's get cracking. Today we're talking about sanity. I have been insane before. Like my species of dinosaur, we're usually vegetarian, herbivores. But, uh, well, when I just defossilized from my egg and grew up after the inspiration uh, from Jurassic Park, well, you know, I uh, pretty much was a dinosaur and I was living. Anyway, when I first tasted meat, which was dead cow meat from a cheeseburger from Stampy McFuckies, because they said if I'm going to work here as a mascot, I need to eat some of the products. And that's when I lost sanity, thinking, God, why do carnivores do this? But anyway, I have my sanity back now, as I overcame all that bollocks. Anyway, we now go back to you, Stabby. Thank you, James. So, like he said, he's not perfect. He's insane, too. Well, he loses all sanity when he eats cow meat, apparently. But that's his nature, you know, when he was a dinosaur. His species were herbivores, with their blunt teeth and their fetish for eating stones. So, how else can I put myself... Yes, sanity, you can lose control sometimes, but, you know, as long as you remember who you are, and you don't get too carried away, you'll be okay, I'm sure you will. <sighs> anyway, what else do I gotta say about this show? Find a hobby. Find something that could, um... You know, keep you busy. You know, don't, don't lose your, your sanity and go insane, because it's not healthy. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I don't think there's anything more for me to say in this episode. So, to wrap things up, we've got, uh, we go into the Stampin' the Fucky's kitchen to our cook, st Snout the Pig. Oh, snout! Thanks, Stabby. Yeah. I'm in the kitchen again. I'm in the kitchen again. Making burgers, that's why you can hear that sizzling sound. And I find my knife. Oh, I lost that. Thought Stabby got hold of it. You know, I don't want to get in with an hammer. God, he's bloody nuts. Fucking nuts when he does that. I'm Australian, don't I mention that? Yeah. Anyway, as you know, when I'm there, it's the end of the show. So, you know, you better fucking subscribe. Excuse the language, but 
so I'll just sometimes forget about that. Subscribe if you want to see more. Also, feel free to like this video if you like it. If you're scared of clowns, well, don't watch it. No one's asking you to watch it, are they? Anyway, you know, until the next episode, bye. Like I say, give that like button a click and hit the big red subscribe button down below. Apparently you can watch series one on this channel as well in the uh, category that says the Stabby the Mentally Disturbed Crown Show Series 2. Anyway, bye now. <coughs>